Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. If, if, if I can't talk to him, he can. If he can't talk to him, he can. But we don't have nobody who really will support these guys because they're gonna look at him and they're gonna judge him by his past and they're gonna question his ability. They're gonna question his character. But instead, it says you need to back him, you need to support him financially. You need to enable these people because the kids really, the behind closed doors, this is who they look up to, this is who they listen to. And I tell people all the time, what really makes you an OG? When you have somebody following you, and you already know people follow me. Mm. I don't have I don't I don't pay nobody to call me no OG. Mm -hmm. I don't ask nobody to call me no OG. No, none of that. They do that out, out of out of honor, honor and the pre but they do that because they watch me and they see that. And what I try to do is try to limit my talk and show them by action. But 50% of what I do is talk good. The other 50% of what I do is back up what I say. Or at least do everything I can to do that. You feel me? So what I'm trying to do is to show everybody that I know that just because I've been in prison for 17 years doesn't mean that I can't maintain my composure. It doesn't mean that I'm not qualified to get people and teach kids. Uh, Saul, who wrote the foundation, Saul, who wrote the book of Acts in the Bible, was a murderer. Saul, who wrote the book of Acts, is the foundation of Christianity. If you want to learn how to be a Christian, you cannot read the whole Bible. You just need to read one book in the Bible. It's called the book of Acts. The book of Acts was wrote by a guy named Saul. Saul was a murderer. Saul was a murderer. Saul was a murderer who wrote the Bible of what the foundation of how it is to be a Christian. So when I ask people, why do I want OG Percy and Melvin and all these guys to come out here and teach people? how to become better people, I ask Christians, who told you how to be a Christian? It's Saul. I got it. So, that, and, and, and that's, that's good. You talk about getting these guys, taking them back to the inner city. You talk about changing their mind, which goes with that. And then you talked about the oval picture where it, we talking about to governors, we talking to politicians, people who deal with the laws and, and, and then some. Not you only are, just the laws, but, that's where the breeding grounds for gang activity start. I get it. Juvenile <laughs> when you go going to jail. That's right. right. The schools when you go going to sell your oats and the parks where you go to negotiate and hang Thanks. out. So those are the three, three main areas in an inner city where the gang uh, 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 congregate. In, in, introduction, no, not con Well, <laughs> the youths congregate. Yeah. Hmm. You got every level, but uh, you got to remember, this is in L.A. You talking about in Death Alley where I grew up at. You talking about a 1.8 mile area, which is the equivalent of Death Row or the uh, Bronx Bombers. You got the Rolling Sixties. You got a trade gangsters. You got the Nine Olds. You got the Hundreds. You got the Thirties. You got the Van Ness boys. Mm. You got the Twenties. You got the Forties. You got the Thirties. That's mm -hmm. a rough lineup over there. Yeah, it's a very rough lineup. Um, <clears throat> so when it come down to the entertain, and I'm going to ask you this, entertainment influences. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the entertainment influence and things the way that they, they do, um, uh, do you, how do you, and I know you guys, you, you, I know for a fact Melvin deal with a lot of entertainers. I can't say that, for, but I know you, you deal with some of the hip hoppers too. I done seen you on a few videos. Um, yeah, yeah, you video guys. How do we influence those guys to, to, to help to, uh, to change the narrative? of? Because a lot of that influences our culture. Oh, you, 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 you're not going um, to get no help on that. No, no, that's that's out the question. You, if you do, you don't get no play. How about that? I get it. If you got anything education to help, they not gonna listen. Oh, come on, you don't hear what's on the radio? Yeah. Money, money, bitches, cars, clothes. Ain't no help. Ain't no help in that. You better not say nothing to help him get a job. You better not say nothing to educate him. <laughs> Throw that shit out the window. Know how they fly your CD? They'll fly Tupac today. You They'll fly Tupac ass across the window and put it in the stunner. The conscious rap, yeah. be right. The conscious rap have kind of fell mean, back. What you mean have? Okay, took out. Ain't no the rest of, arrest of development. Have, have, have anybody heard? Yeah. Anybody in here know any conscious rap that's popping right now? Like huh. the the, the like uh, common or chance anybody. and common there. Kendrick Lamar, the closest you want to get to. He, 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 he don't even got a hit on the radio right now. He don't get no play. Wow. He don't get no I play. Just, I just thought about that. They after. They after. <laughs> but don't don't you don't get no to. play. <laughs> <laughs> Who you listen to? Yo, millionaire, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Who is that? That's a new guy. It's a, a new guy to South Memphis. He a Memphis. I'm, you know, I listen to Memphis music. 
Okay. And well, I just ask, you know, because that, that's a lot of influence, too, whether we want to, you know, adhere to it or not. That, that in, entertainment is business. Feeds, it, it feeds through these microphones and it feeds through these earphones just as well as people talking. And them phones is pretty much you was talking that's about. That's pretty much where they tap into a lot of different things. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.